Today, the Department of Justice said it has arrested 18 people in Portland on federal criminal charges. Dramatic scenes played out on the streets for the 56th consecutive night as protesters again clashed with federal agents backed by President Trump. Here's CBS's Weijia Zhang. Despite pleas from protesters in Portland, federal agents are staying put, firing tear gas and physically clashing with demonstrators overnight. City and state leaders, including the mayor who was tear gassed himself, are demanding they leave. We sent in very powerful, uh, not military, but very strong people. Uh, the police are good, but they were told not to do anything, you know, by the radical left mayor. President Trump said that dozens of officers are necessary to protect federal buildings. And he's ready to launch up to 75,000 more agents to cities across the country, including Chicago, Albuquerque, Kansas City, and Seattle. Mayor Jenny Durkin. What the president has threatened is not the norm. In fact, it is contrary to how federal government usually works with local law enforcement. Every city is run by a liberal Democrat, and they're going to hell. And we have to do something. At today's briefing, White House Press Secretary Kaylee McEnany showed a video she claimed justifies the decisions in Portland. She was asked if the president thinks he can send federal forces anywhere he wants. He believes they're there to protect federal property, so I'll leave it to you to determine where's federal property. Tonight, in a new interview, President Trump revealed he often regrets what he tweets because the instant gratification backfires. The president said after he leaves the White House, he doesn't know if he will use his Twitter account ever again. Nora? We should at the White House. Thank you.